Hey everybody, my name is Ivica. Thank you so much for joining me on this Unreal Engine beginner tutorial video that will show you how you can take a skeletal mesh and turn it into a static mesh then you can later on use in your level. So the process is really simple and really straightforward even though it has a few segments or elements to it that will allow you to basically create this conversion from one type of asset to another relatively quickly and easily. So right now I have my level, it's a basic flying game, I'm creating a weird flying game, and I have a import of a spaceship that I took from Sketchfab, and let's say I want to use just a single element, just a single skeletal mesh, this is the base of the same kind of sci-fi song aircraft or drone, something of that sort, and I just want to take this element and turn it into a static mesh that I can later on use in my level as well. So to do that, I simply need to double click on it and open it up in the editor. As you can see, this is the skeletal mesh editor. You have your animation, everything else right here. But let's say I want to take this, this object and turn it into a static mesh that I can use in my level. The way to do it is to go for this right here, make static mesh out of the preview of current pose. And by selecting it, you can first of all choose the static mesh location. I'm going to put it in my base content folder and call it new ship. And the same process of transforming this into a static mesh is now taking place. It will take some time. This is a relatively simple creation, so it not it won't take long, as you saw. I'm going to dock this here, even though I probably won't need it later on, but let's see if it open. And now let's go back to the content root. And here it is, new ship static mesh. And it's ready, I just need to save it. The asterisk, as you can see, is notifying us that it's a new asset. We need to save all, and it will then disappear right here. And right now I can drop it in my level, place it wherever I want, and it's a static mesh. So let's check it out in action. Here it is. But expectedly, my player character in this case a brilliant golden cube, is simply flying through it because we didn't set any collisions for it. And if you click on it, or hover just above it, you'll see that collision prims is zero. That's the yellow or golden font color. And we can change that really simply by double clicking on it. This will open up an editor. And as you can see, it's a different kind of an editor because this is a static mesh editor and this is a skeletal mesh editor. We'll close this for now. And right here we should see collisions, but there are no collisions to be found, which is why we need to go to collision drop down menu here and add some kind of a collision. If we add a sphere simplified collision, it will simply have a kind of bubble around it. Capsule simplified collision will do the same and a box simplified collision will do also something of that nature. I think that the box would do most justice and it did, you can see it now. Of course, you can later on edit it. We have this empty space right here, which should probably be edited or filled up with the same collision and a bit here, a bit here, but otherwise it's a pretty solid collision overall. We need to save it. Go back to the root folder, hover above it, and as you can see, there is no more warning signs. There are collisions, and we can see that in the game as well. I'm flying towards my box, and it's colliding. The collisions are right there. As you saw, they're not perfectly set up, so I would be able to kind of hit the same object, even though I'm close to flying 
below it, so the collisions are far from perfect, but they are active. And this way, as you saw it, you can simply turn any static mesh, more precisely any skeletal mesh, into a static mesh pretty easily, pretty quickly, and then add collisions to it in a few clicks as well. And that's of course <laughs> one of the major advantages of using Unreal Engine is that it allows you to do stuff like this in just a few seconds. Of course, don't forget you need to save your entire projects to lose those asterisks. And you can do that again by save all. Simply going with us in-game or an in-level save would not be enough. And instead you need to go with save all. So that's it, that's the process how you create a static mesh from a skeletal mesh. Hopefully you found this tutorial useful. If you did, please consider subscribing, please consider leaving a like and leaving a comment if you have any questions or comments. There is also a bunch of ways you can support my channel in the description below, but you can go ahead and ignore those. And we can see each other on my next Unreal Engine tutorial video in a few days. Until then, thank you so much for watching, my name is Ivica and have loads of fun in your Unreal Engine projects. Bye bye.